Friday Night Fights from Foxwoods, presented by Corona Extra. We are in southeastern Connecticut at Foxwoods Grand Theater, where it is time for our main event. The tail of the tape showing you the confidence of the unbeaten 5-5. Mark Davis, who's 18-0 from Cleveland. It is time to step up and get something done here, potentially fight for a title against the experience of Michael Farinas from the Philippines. And there is Mark Davis, the unbeaten prospect from Ohio. He has had inactivity in recent years. He had some promotional dealings in the management of his career that didn't take the course that he would prefer. He says Farinas is slow and flat-footed and he will take advantage of that all night long. And there is Farinas, five foot six, one thirty. To Davis is five foot five, thirty year old. He's thirty seven, four and four. Among his notable outings, we'll see Yuriorkis Gamboa. That was the last loss of his career. He's won four straight. Teddy offers up the fight plan. As straight as an arrow. Now, if Mark Davis can shoot his right hand the same way, well, this guy's gonna be the limit. Let's find out right now. Farinas, Southpaw, I'll be Davis. Farinas likes to be aggressive. I notice he makes his head movements too far away. He gives you room to time him to see what he's doing. Also, he gives you space when he goes over on his left side to catch him, to nail him. Bang! To Southpaw kill him. The straight right hand. Well, if Davis does that, Farina's gonna be seeing stars on the inside. You're supposed to go outside and see stars. No, on the outside. And I didn't. Right, now, how does Farina's create his own consolation? Well, with the Big Dipper, this, his power punch, the left hand. Against Davis, an orthodox fighter, well, Farina's has to know that right hands are gonna be coming. So you get ready for it, it comes, slip, right, a comet, right out of the sky. And then, the big twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know he's asleep? It's all over. Let's start. You did promise that you would sing in a recent show. Listen, you know why I didn't sing? Because he you drew, sang a little lullaby there. No, because there. Saul drooled on me. <laughs> you don't when want that. <laughs> once there's drooling, it, no, can, no, no, no. it cancels the singing. Yeah, that's not happening. <laughs> Drooling cancels out singing. His professional record, a perfect one. 18 fights, 18 victories. Five wins coming by way of knockout. From Cleveland, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen, Mark Tushar Davis. Bringing back that too sharp moniker is this mark of a different generation. As Stevie Smoger is the referee Gentlemen, for our you IBF are title. Instructions in your respective dressing rooms. Please obey my commands. Respect the bell and above all, protect yourself at all times. This is for the IBF number two position. Fight accordingly. Touch gloves and God bless you both. Marinas, by the way, job, speaks cameraman. limited English. He uses the Filipino dialect of Tagalog. So in terms of the instructions from Steve Smoger that you'll see throughout the night, Smoger always does a good job of getting physical signals to the fighters as well. Look for straight left hands, or maybe a little crooked left hands, but look for left hands from the Southpaw Farina. That's his Sunday punch, or maybe his Wednesday punch. He's got power in that hand. That's where his confidence is. He likes to come forward, bang with that left hand. And, and there he goes. He'll bang all night long if he's allowed to. And for Davis, he's gonna have to avoid it. And that might start with moving more to his left and less to his right. He's moving the wrong way right now. He's moving right into that punch. He's moving to the right. Bad place to be moving because Farinas 
can throw the left hand. If he moves the other way to his left, he'll be moving away from that power shot. You would hope that the people in the corner that help Farinas get ready for a fight, that they would be aware of that. Teddy, those left hands well, I should say help southpaw has already opened an abrasion. It looks like there's already a small cut around the right eye of Mark Davis as he was circling to his right and, la and Farinas landed a couple of those left hands. There is already some notice of blood around the right eye of Davis. Well, like I said in the opening, and I'll say it again, Davis is going to be tested tonight. He's got a guy in front of him who's fought for a world title, a guy who has more than twice as many fights, a guy who has more knockouts than Davis has wins, a guy who's a southpaw and has power in that left hand, and he's using the left hand. He is scoring really well here in this first round as the Filipino, and there is blood coming down the face of the undefeated Mark Davis. Now, Davis is going to have to start using that jab to keep some separation from Farinas. Farinas wants to be close. Davis doesn't want to be close, so he needs that jab to get a little separation from Farinas, and then he's going to need the right hand at some point to slow down the softball. Stevie Smoger, as he was circling by us, leaned over and said, cut paused and said punch indeed it was that cut caused by a oh, yeah. punch Get here let him out, Mark. in the let him first out. round good, 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 good. <laughs> Farina's gonna have his way we're gonna see power all night from that left hand if Davis is going to rise to the occasion and pass this difficult test we're gonna see speed at some point round one that gives you a chance to go to the Friday Night Fight Facebook page and score along with Teddy Atlas and the ringside judges. Head over to Facebook and score with us. See the grease over the right eye of Mark Davis. He was hit by a few left hands from Farinas in that first round, the first of which opened up a cut. And it's good to have at all times it's good to have a good referee, and it's even better to have one of the best in the business. Steve Smoger came over to us and let us know in between rounds that it was a punch that caused that cut. show you what happened in the first round. This is the replay of the left hand that opens up that cut above the right eye. See how flush it was Off and how neck, turned it over right. right at the end. Step out, step out. David's going to win. I mentioned speed. You also going to have to throw in some legs there. David's going to need legs and speed. If he's going to turn around what was a difficult first round and start to gobble up rounds from this point on. Legs to change range, to get angles, to keep Farina's off balance, and speed to do something about it when he has that space. There are the power punches according to the box. Big edge for Farina's landing 14, throwing 52. Glad to see that Davis moving a little more to his left when he was separated, not as much to his right, where he was moving right into that left hand. That time straight back against the ropes, and the hard-charging Filipino comes in with that left hand free as they wrestle their way into the corner, and now he's just making a fight out of it with Joe, a relentless attack. Davis is leaving the front door open. He's not using his jab, and he's allowing Farinas to come in that front door, so he figures now, Davis, you know what? I'm gonna fight fire with fire a little bit. Maybe gain a little respect from Farinas for a moment. That time he stood right in the pocket and traded as he shakes him off now at distance. That cut man's gonna be important in the corner of Farinas. Manuel Diablo worked in the corner. Corner of Davis, I should say. Manuel Diablo, as you just said.
See, Farina's where he hurts himself. He doesn't come in behind the jab enough. You know? And there he goes. Coming in, but he does that enough. Comes in with that. With that big left hand that probably just won the round for him. This is a really good start to his night. Southpaw charging in. Mark Davis got an earful from his trainer, Fred Neal, was not pleased with some of the strategic choices he was making in the first two rounds against Michael Farinas. First and foremost, he was saying, stop going to your right. He's throwing that looping left hand. Maybe somebody should have said something a long time ago, like stop facing soft competition, because Davis has faced a lot of soft competition in his young career, and Farinas has faced, obviously, the much stiffer competition. And that is one of the differences right now. Farinas is battle-tested. Davis is not. Davis was able to land a right hand between punches moments ago. Now puts out that jab. And body goes to Filipino. And as Davis fires back. Farinas went 10 rounds in his eighth pro fight. You move a lot faster in places like the Philippines where you have less opportunities, him, less chances. You gotta move fast. And that means you gotta get hard. You gotta get tough and grow up fast. Davis is gonna have to grow up fast right in front of him. No, 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 no. Good, good, good. You get no jab now from Farinas. He looks for that. Downstairs and upstairs. That power punch. There's a right hook that time by Farinas. So far, no doubt about professional rules. Who's landing the harder, more consequential punches, which is what the pro rules are all about. So far, that's Farinas. There's another one. And another left hand. And another case where Davis gives him the opportunity to throw that left hand, standing right in front of him, not moving off to his left away from the power. And now Davis sits in there, straight right hand from Davis after yeah, he went hurt. to the belt line. That hurt for me, does that straight right hand. So some give and take here in round three. Action packed third round. There's a combination that finished with a left hand. Davis came back with a right hand in the midst of it. Left versus right. Who's your money on? The left of Farinas is going to be all night. And it looks like it's going to be against the right of Davis. There's the legs of Davis. Now he needs the speed. Now he needs those quick punches as he tries to get an angle. It's a very entertaining third round between these two. Short break, be right back. That would be Magaline. You speak Tagalog, you speak Filipino dialect. That means very good. It does, well done. Well done. And it was well done by Michael Farinas Magaling as he takes this into the fourth round against the undefeated 18-0 Mark Davis, title eliminator, and now he's charging into that corner against him as he landed another left hand. You know, Shaman Davis, from him and his people are surprised by this avalanche of left hands. They should have known that's what Farina brings, and in spots, that's what Davis could bring. Quick combinations, a lot of speed. Both men going at it. Davis fired back for a moment, and now Farina's getting right back to action. Left Highly hand. entertaining stuff early on here in the main event. And Farina's mixing up those left hands nice. Downstairs, upstairs. One complements the other. Get his attention downstairs, easy to go upstairs. Expect one upstairs now. Farina's is like a pitcher. Hitting different spots of the plate, inside, outside. Don't punch, don't punch, I got you, I got you now. Yeah. 
Combination through the uppercut that time, and Davis tried to fire back, didn't land anything on the inside. Now short right hand on the inside. Right now, I talk about left versus right. Right now, it's power versus speed. Don't spear, baby, jab. Power by Paredes, and the reluctant, spotty speed of Davis. Not consistent. So far, the power output and delivery of Paredes has been a little more consistent than the spurts of speed we've seen from Davis. Davis confidently lifted him with that right hand. Now they're on the inside. Let's loose as he pulled back. There was a left hand that leaded from Paranis. If this was a card game, Davis has two pairs. But every time he shows those two pairs, Paranis shows three of a kind. Power over speed. Intriguing matchup here. Edge has gone to Farinas early on. Davis has had his moments here in round four with the speed in spots. But the left hand of Farinas has been the talk about in the early stages here. Again, sporadic behavior by Davis. Be very careful, not letting those hands go, and not making up for the power of Farinas that round. As they have four rounds completed here at Foxwoods, as we will listen in to the corner of Mark Davis. You got to go to the body. Fred wants you to go to the body, baby. You got to take the gas out of him, huh? You set him, you set him up for the deep body shot. All right? You got power. He didn't kill the body, son. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Dig to the body, bro. Take a deep breath. Throw your chest up. Go check out. Don't worry about the head. Finish up top when you get through. But dig that body first, all right? All right? Just dig the body, man. Come on, keep your, keep your right hand up, bro. Keep throwing that old loop left hand with a practice, yeah, ball. You got to use your legs, though. To get out of the way or when you dip down over there, shoot something to his body. Hey, guys. He ain't going no way too slow. Yeah, man. See, that's one of the things you get when you have a father in the corner. I'm not saying good or bad, but the head trainer in that corner is Fred Neal. Fred Neal went silent because the father, Mark Davis Sr., took over. And that's what's going to happen when you have a father in the corner and the son starts having hands laid on him. The father's going to behave like a father. He's going to take over. And the head trainer is going to be on the side. And that round, in the corner, the head trainer had nothing to say. Davis was comfortably in the pocket there and was scoring, and then all of a sudden, Farinas landed another left hand before Smoker had a break up. Again, it's the power on the inside. I, mean, I don't up, care if they throw six. You right, see, right, right, right. Farinas is one. Makes up for those six and goes past the flurries of punches that every once in a while Davis throws. And there it is again. The power. again. As stay Davis up, takes a stay step up, back Mark. and then he landed the body shot stay as well. Up, Davis, stay up. He's been targeting the body a little more here in round five. Davis comes back with a combination. Yeah, right and now a right hand by the undefeated Cleveland fighter. Yeah, Davis shows that right hand, he shows three of a kind. But Farinas is looking for that full house, and there it is. Full house beats three of a kind. <laughs> Nothing fancy here. Tight quarters. Maybe that's the problem. Tight quarters. For me, Davis not using those legs. He's the more mobile guy. He's not showing it. He's three years younger, not showing it. Here comes some mobility. Now Davis has to match 
that moment with some punches. He doesn't do it. He just lays near the rope. Great, great. Marina walks right in that front door again. Means nothing those quick punches. That's right. Nothing is nothing. landing flush there or having much impact. And it's not been out like that. Lot more to catch up. And now he's way behind with these power shots again. And he's bending too low. And when you bend that low to get away, you give your opponent, in this case Marina, a chance to catch you as you come up. On the attack, right to the bell. Michael Farinas in control. Davis came in 18 and 0, overflowing with confidence, disrespecting Farinas' ability and physicality. And look at what side he's on now. He needs a turnaround. Not disrespected it anymore, but it might be too late. Just work the body. I don't think he should work the body. I'll tell you why. When you say work the body, that's right. I don't think you want to be in okay. close with a guy who's okay. shown you that he's stronger than like your guy. You're practicing all day. But sometimes a father doesn't see that. A father just oh, sees his son, that. and he thinks his son can do anything. There's a big left hand by Farinas. Again, a big shot from Farinas. Now, I also saw that Davis was bending way too low. There's the left hand. Look how low he's going. You go let it alone, you gotta come up. And when you come up, guess what? Farinas has the edge because you're spending time down way too low. And by the time you get back up, Farinas reloads and he's ready to clock you. This has been a long six rounds for Mark Davis, IBF title eliminator. Started off with left hands, landing flush and a cut opened up on the right eye and then there at the end of five, he was damaged. And he steady himself here in round six. Can he figure out how to slow down Michael Farinas? He's tying up there with that hand for a moment. Oh, now another left hand comes in. Yeah, he's in trouble. He does Farinas. not look good at all. No, Farinas doing a smart thing. He's keeping just enough separation where he can do that. Move his hands, not get smothered. Moving his feet when he has to Farinas to keep room for that offensive flow. See that defensive move that we saw in the last round where Davis went way too low? He does that every once in a while. Break, he got break, away break, with that break, break. with the opposition that's been in front of him for the previous 18 fights. But it doesn't mean it was right. He just got away with it. Now, you can see that it wasn't right. But it might be too late. Stay up, Mark. Stay up, Mark. <laughs> Only hope for Davis right now. I mean, his heart is keeping him in there. He's showing a great heart. But I think he needs to get out of there and use his legs. If he's not, he's staying in those trenches. Oh, he ate a big one upstairs. Headshot reined in. I always talk about geography. The geography that a fighter must fight in. And the geography from the beginning for Farinas was inside. And for Davis, should have been on the outside, and it hasn't been. A left hand comes in again. 40-something seconds remaining, and you got to think about survival at this point, the way Mark Davis looks. And Smoga is thinking about being ready to stop him. He's positioning himself, and he's watching. And the doctor, Dr. Schwartz, a good doctor in this business, is right up on that ring apron. Michael Schwartz, one of the most respected ringside physicians in the business, is monitoring the undefeated for now, Mark Davis. Almost had another left-hand clip him here. makes it through after what was another attacking round 
by the Southpaw Farinas. And there's Dr. Schwartz. Let's listen in. Let me get in. I'm not going to let it go much longer. He's got to show me something here. Mark. I know you're firing back, but you're taking Mark. a lot. What the hell are you doing? You hear what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Move to your left, all right? Why do I left hand? You ain't trying to slip the left hand. Tony, go look right. at him, Tony. The Tony, go look at him, Tony, you heard from Steve Smoker. What do you want me to do, Kenny? Is a call for shots. Anthony Alessi, so one of the foremost go. neurosurgeons hey, in all of ready, sports. Right? This is a guy that works with the New York Yankees and the NFL Players, Players Association. Yeah. Yeah. Make some determination. Yeah, stop yeah. 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 Blow your chin. So Schwartz says, I'm going to make a determination. Alessi's going over to join him as they look at Davis. Well, move to the left, all right? Get away from his left hand and go to his body. My guy just wants to take it. The corner of Davis turned to Schwartz when he gave them the warning as to what he was looking for, the physician, and said, but I'm firing back. And Schwartz came back and said, but you're also taking a lot. Are you hearing me? Round seven, can Davis come up with anything here to survive Farinas? This will be his last round that he'll get an opportunity to do that. The tremendous referee, Steve Smoker, gave me a signal just before and kind of let us in on what was being said in that corner. He pointed to finger one. In other words, we're giving him this step one around, round. Step around, And see what he does. Step back, step back. So far, not that big left hand we've seen throughout the night from Farinas here in round seven. Now here he tries to bring it in, but it was just a glancing blow. Just a right jab to the body. Davis is circling to his left, trying to stay away from that left hand of the Filipino. Farinas has been on the floor. In two fights, if you were wondering back home, what's the chance of Davis suddenly out of the sky pulling a lightning bolt of a right hand on the chin of Karina? Yes, Karina's chin has been dented. Fight back, Mark. Fight back. Davis circling. It's actually been the Come round on, that he's been back, looking off, for and stay. needed after what stay, happened stay. in both round five and six when he was hurt. No jab from Kalinas. There's a little jab. But he hasn't really needed it. Fairly nondescript round so far. After round all those fireworks, Teddy, in five and six from Farinas. The round that Davis needed just to be allowed. That's right. To continue tonight. Just the round that he needed to survive. Not win, but survive. And at seven. Here on ESPN Friday Night Fights, presented by Corona Extra, who invites you to find your beach. Beautiful Foxwoods Resort Casino, in the midst of the IBF's title eliminator at 130 pounds. As Davis up, son. was so confident no, yesterday. They going to the body, all right? They move said around, this isn't you even a step right, up fight, fight for me. I know, I know. You, you, you gotta, you gotta really fight back hard, brother. Stay in the legs, stay in the legs, huh? Stay digging the body like you done, but sit down on that. Right? You gotta roll, roll with that right up, baby. I thought I put it in the jelly roll. What you want? He 
See a familiar face in the corner of Arenas. Long time New York trainer. And Cutman, been with a lot of good fighters. A lot of years. Lenny De Jesus. Eighth it, round, let's see if Farina steps it up. Basically took around, that seventh around, off stop. after doing so much damage around, in the fifth around. and sixth. You know, it's not about today. It's about yesterday. Get off his neck, so Marky. far tonight. 18 yesterday, to be exact, for Davis. To prepare for today, he had to have been in with tougher competition before he made this big turn jump. Turn around, turn around. From the swimming pool to the ocean. Karina's Joe has been in a lot of close, tough fights. Four draws and five split or majority decisions. Unlike Davis, he's fire tested, ready for battle. Oh, he backs him up into the corner and comes chasing him down. And Steve Smoker wants no more damage to Mark Davis. A humane ending to the fight as Smoger had warned him, as did the physicians. And the next time he took damage, you knew that was going to be it. Left hands beat all the hands of Davis tonight. That was a good night out for Michael Farinas. Former title challenger who now puts himself in position to fight for a belt again. Once again, no surprise, left hand, but Smoga knew what he was doing, knew what he was watching, knew what had transpired all night long, and he saw, he saw what I just saw, that left hand was not one of the greatest left hands of the night, Joe, but it was a left hand that affected Davis, that was a less of a left hand than earlier. So that told Smoga, the experienced referee, all he needed to know, his capacity to take punches has been lessened. He's damaged. I need to get him out of there. Listen, Smoger would have done it in the seventh round, but the seventh round didn't even offer up one opportunity to do it. So here we are a round later, and the first time he can, the fight is called. Mark Davis, the first loss of his career for the official particulars. Let's send it up to David. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Smoger calls a halt to this contest. The official time of the stoppage, 59 seconds of round number eight. Your winner by TKO. And now the number two IBF junior lightweight contender from Manila in the Philippines, Michael Hammerfist Colvina. Takes the IBF title eliminator with an eighth round TKO. He has now won five straight fights by knockouts. Let's look at the foolproof punch of the night brought to you by Just For Men. Here's how he finished it off. And again, not one of the biggest punches of the night, but by this time, Davis had been worn down from punches like that all night long, and it didn't take much to put him over the cliff. Southpaw veteran from the Philippines, promoted by Manny Pacquiao now with 38 wins in his career. Todd, 